Bihar is the apex institute for training of government servants in Bihar which has been carrying out the responsibility of imparting proper training to the officers and personnel of various cadres of Bihar government after the bifurcation of Bihar Bihar was established in the year of 2006 as an autonomous organization of the state government by merging administrative training institute and state institute of rural development at Valmiki campus Patna A major challenge before Bipad was the shortage of infrastructure and facilities operating with limited resources Bipad's activities naturally slowed down further during the covid crisis in this situation the month of april 2022 proved to be a milestone in the development journey of Bipad this was the time when the exercise to develop Bipad as a high level training institute started without any delay classrooms as well as the hostels in the Patna Valmi campus were equipped with state of the art facilities along with improving the Patna campus many effective steps were taken one after the other in the direction of developing Bihar's main campus at Gaya to the global level Within no time a grand building with 12 lecture halls and 3 lecture theaters equipped with the state of the art facilities and a huge campus lit up with gardens and electric lights was ready not only this the kaveri guest house with all the facilities has also been prepared with attractive colors Solar light panels of 250 kW have been installed in the entire campus. Swimming pool, rubberized track and sewage treatment plant are also being prepared at a fast pace. Biometric attendance has been arranged for the trainees and all the personnel officers of the headquarters. Along with this, CCTV cameras have also been installed in the entire campus. A 10 bed first aid center has been set up within the campus. Where 24 hour doctors availability has been ensured along with modern equipment ambulance and medicines. Along with this a help desk has been set up on every floor of the hostel for immediate assistance. Not only this arrangements for AC, heater, geyser, fridge, locker desktop computer wifi intercom phone etc have also been made in all the rooms of the hostel apart from this two messes namely annapurna and niranjana with the capacity to provide quality food to 800 people per day are also running here the responsibility of keeping the campus and building neat clean green and safe has been given to the competent security and housekeeping agency fire extinguishers and fire alert systems have also been installed throughout the building apart from this power hub stations and server rooms have been built in the headquarters premises to maintain the power and communication system Kendriya Bhandar Vegetable Sales Center and Jivika Didi's shop have also opened within the premises where items of daily needs are available. SBI ATM facility is also available in the campus and State Bank of India branch will also open soon. In this way, all preparations were done to meet the national level standards and all this was done in record time. Bipad made preparations for the grand opening of the headquarters within the deadline. Then on October 2nd, 2022, with the inauguration of Bipad's headquarters, the training of the first batch of 150 officers also started here. Continuing its resolve to touch new heights, Bipad has also completed the process of MOU with many higher level educational institutions of the country. I I am Bodh Gaya, NLU Delhi. National Law University Bhopal IIM Kolkata Indian Institute of Public Administration Indian School of Public Policy Nalsar Hyderabad DMI Gujarat National Law University The Art of Living and NIRDPA In addition the flexi training program includes combined foundation course combined induction course executive program in public policy and management executive certificate program in public policy executive certificate program in organizational behavior and executive certificate program in AI and ML to ensure world class training system
Bipad invites many star speakers from time to time in addition to regular faculty. Introducing increased training capacity, Bipad completed the unprecedented training of 3,000 newly appointed panchayat secretaries within two months in August-September of the year 2022. Similarly, along with the training of 3,615 revenue employees, about 7,000 watchmen are also being trained successfully in Bipad. In the beginning of the year 2023, by giving collective training instead of department-wise training to the officers of various services selected in the 66th BPSC, BIPAD introduced itself as an institute at par with a national institute like Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration. Talking about the course modules, BIPAD is training the trainees of different services on the basis of different modules. In these, along with the law module, communication module, climate change, ethics and leadership etc., artificial intelligence and machine learning under IT module, as well as trending technologies like cyber security, internet of things, augmented reality and blockchain have also been included. Skilled trainers from abroad are also being invited by BIPAD for successful completion of these modules. Along with this, classes are being conducted by the experts to develop the understanding of tender process and EPROC in the procurement module so that the trainee officers can manage better in their work area. Not only this, BIPAD has also made arrangements for the computer proficiency test for the trainees during the training and departmental examination conducted by the Revenue Council in the BIPAD campus itself. This fast-growing step of BIPAD can be gauged from the fact that during the last one year, BIPAD organized a total of 287 training programs. First of all, I want to talk about academics where well-structured syllabus has been prepared for our skill development and high-level faculty has been provided to us in which all kinds of syllabus related to our work have been included. Finance, communication, leadership, everything. When we are completely exhausted, we are made to do yoga in the evening so that we can work and remain calm and composed and over all, I would like to say that we never thought that this kind of training would help us in Bipad. It will be available in Bihar and those who dream of Lavasana Masuri. If you are not able to go there for any other reason, Bipad is providing us all those facilities like skill development and everything. 28 days training is being given here by Bipad, in which training is being given about all the schemes running in the Panchayat, its technical issues, e gram Swaraj, computer training, and after getting all these trainings, I'm feeling good. And when I go to my panchayat, I will be able to give my performance well. Along with quality classroom teaching in Bipat, trainees are also being sent to higher level educational institutions of other state under Bharat Darshan program for the purpose of imparting practical knowledge. Trainees are getting new opportunities for knowledge enhancement by visiting different institutes outside the state. Apart from this, yoga and PT have been made mandatory for the trainees to keep them physically and mentally fit. A gym equipped with modern equipment has also been set up in the headquarters campus. Skilled and efficient yoga gurus, PT instructors and gym trainers have also been appointed for this. There are 11 other PTIs with us who are ex-men and we try to ensure that all the students get good physical fitness and give them good exercise in the morning. That is, they do 4 rounds of running and 15 minutes of exercise and cool and down. Trainees receiving training at BIPAD are also being given ample opportunities for extracurricular activities. At the end of the week, sports competitions are organized, programs for mountain climbing, tree plantation and blood donation etc. are also organized for the trainees. Bipad has decided to adopt the Brahmayogi mountain area of Bodh Gaya and plant trees on a large scale for the trainees here. Cultural programs are also organized from time to time in the Bipad campus, in which renowned artists as well as trainees perform their art. Thus. 
Under the able leadership of the Honorable Chief Minister, Bipad has become a national level training institute and is moving forward with renewed vigor towards achieving international standards. In view of this innovative work of Bipad, Honorable Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has honored Bipad with the first prize on Civil Service Day this year.